What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about should you think about purchasing the Cup Cadet ZT1 Ultima mower. What's the pros? What's the cons? Let's get right into this. All right guys, I want to say first off, this is a well thought out mower. The way they made everything, the frame, the tubing, the way you get to your seat, uh, under your seat. I mean, everything is easily accessible on this bad boy, your battery, everything like that. When it comes to adjusting your handlebars, they've got these, woo, they've got these uh, cool little grips right here. You just undo this and you can move it wherever you want. If you're straying off to one side or the other, they've got bolts here, literally in the frame that uh, you can tighten or loosen to get your tracking corrected. Uh, deck wash. The deck wash is a great feature on this. It does take a little time to get any of that grass out. Uh, your deck can have your deck belts and everything. You pull this nut out right here, this bolt, and uh, it's easily accessible, pulls up, and you can change your belt, do whatever you'd like to do, clean your grass off, things like that. <clears throat> Even comes with a nifty wrench over here to uh, uh, loosen and adjust your handles things like that. Uh, now this is a residential mower guys. If you're planning on using this for anything other than residential use, I do not recommend it. I would not recommend it. Uh, it's just got way too many things that I do not like to even come close to being a entry level commercial unit. And they don't advertise this as a commercial unit. But uh, let's talk about some of the things they do advertise that are wrong. All right guys, so they advertise this mower to do two to four acres on their website. Uh, this is a two to four acre mower. Uh, slight obstacles, things like that, or up to a 15 degree slope. Even on the sticker here, it says up to a 15 degree slope, you could go on. Now, these have very, very small tires. This is only a 42 inch, so of course it's not gonna hold a hill anywhere remotely close to a bigger size deck width. Now, I'm not sure if this is the exact same frame with just a different deck uh, than the other mowers. I really haven't got into that much of it, but one thing I can tell you is uh, when you go and you actually start looking at more information on this, this mower is meant for less than one acre with flat land and very few obstacles. So uh, it's totally advertised completely wrong per their website, according to uh, the way Cup Cadet markets it, compared to what this mower is actually meant for. They make it a better mower than what it actually is. Another thing, uh, when you engage the blades on this, it sounds like it's totally gonna fall apart. Everything starts vibrating on this machine. Your wheels start vibrating, all the deck starts vibrating and moving real bad. Not sure what's going on with that. It's a very well built machine, it seems like, until you engage the deck blades. The handles are smooth, it's got some speed to it, it does cut great when you are going slow. If you plan on mowing at over half the speed this mower has, then you're gonna leave stragglers. You better get ready to start double cutting stuff because this mower will not handle that kind of speed. You have to go slower and uh, I would say below half the speed of what they give you on this in order to get that nice cut quality. Anything over that, you're gonna leave stragglers, you're gonna be double cutting. This thing will not take a heel. Let's get that out of the way. It is meant for less than one acre with hardly any obstacles. If you've got anything over that, this ain't the machine for you. This goes for the 42 inch all the way up to the 54 inch deck sizes. Uh, is what they say. So uh, they advertise it once again as two to four acres uh, with slight hills, things like that, even says on a sticker. But then when you go through their little thing and uh, <clears throat> you start looking at mowers, then this mower is meant for less than one acre. They're shooting herself in the foot by having one thing say one thing and another thing say another. Uh, Cub Cadet, which one is it? Is it meant for two to four acres or less than one acre? because you, uh, you got them both on your website. So uh, the seat, seat's great, seat's comfortable. Everything about this mower is, is pretty you know, nice, can't say anything about it. We did change the oil on it today. Also sharpened the blades, pulled them off. That's all easy. The one thing I do not like about the oil change is uh, that I wish they could have thought a little better, <laughs> is literally 
where the oil is, or where the oil comes out. Let me uh, move this here. So where your oil comes out here, there is literally, you put a rag underneath that guys. That's the only thing you're gonna do to catch your oil. Otherwise, it's gonna pull all up in that little divot down in there. So, uh, you know, that's just what it is. It is what it is and you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. This one has the Kohler 22 horsepower on it. Uh, it does run very smooth. It takes about two quarts of oil is what we put in it. This mower only has 33 hours on it. Uh, for a residential mower, for the price that this has compared to other things on the market, I personally do not recommend this mower to any homeowner, uh, especially until they get this mower deck problem solved because this is gonna drive people totally crazy. Um, here's the reason I don't say I would use it for commercial use. I've got Crocs on, take me seriously. Um, <clears throat> is This is how you adjust the deck height. Now I really like how you adjust the deck height. You push this up, you turn the knob, so we're at one inch, one and a half, two and a half. So we'll go, we'll say three and a half inches here. Then you let your deck down. There you go, you're at three and a half inches. Uh, you want to raise it up, you go back up to your four and a half, and there you go. Now, this is where it gets fun, is because if I'm mowing a property at three and a half inches, my deck is down, I go to load up on my trailer. Most trailers, you're going to have to have four and a half, at minimum, probably five inches is what your deck height needs to set up to before you're going to uh, not scrape your deck. Now, if you go to load this on a trailer, residential or not, you're gonna scrape the deck, and when you scrape the deck, then guess what? It's probably gonna go unlevel on you, and you're gonna to have to re-level it. Leveling the deck is uh, very easy and very adjustable. The front, pulling this deck off is very easy. Putting it back on, you can do it just one person. I mean, pretty, pretty well thought, but if you plan on loading this up on a trailer, if this deck hits anything, uh, you're more than likely gonna to have to A, figure out if you bent the deck first because it's a stamped deck uh, or two you're going to have to um, figure out if your deck went on level which more than likely it did so uh, the one thing I wish they had is something that you know held this deck up into the full position you could pull a pin or something and drop that deck down to your three and a half every time you go to cut other than that uh, you know it's great you go to literally your <clears throat> yeah, go to literally your four and a half, let off of it. That's as, that's as high as this deck's going to go, guys. We'll just start it up for you here. Turn the blades on. is so bad that when your feet is even setting on this mower it is vibrating your feet pretty good as well your deck is vibrating you're literally watching your deck move and vibrate all over the place um, do I think they could have did things better with this mower definitely the ZT2 I'm not sure about haven't looked at it haven't tried it haven't demoed it haven't did anything with it uh, but guys as far as the ZT1 goes I would probably stay away from it and that's for the reasons the cut quality if you plan on going any speed whatsoever to try to get your yard done uh, tall grass might as well forget about it um, you're going to cut as high as you can and then drop the deck to you know get that good cut uh, it's this is not a garden tractor that you could probably run through at one time and be done with it um, this thing is just not like that the frame and everything definitely hey cup cadet good job on the frame but when it came to cut quality, when it came to some of these features you thought out, uh, you know, it just definitely ain't worth it. Uh, so guys, that's my thoughts, my opinions on this mower. You can do it, you can uh, go buy it, 
try it out for yourself. I'm sure they give you a warranty to where you could return this thing if you don't like it. But uh, I'm going to tell you, save your money. Go buy a ZT2. Hopefully, it's a better upgrade to the ZT1. So, thanks for watching, guys. You got any questions, comment down below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button. We'll see you soon.